Let's talk about the Cisco Configuration Professional. Uh, the CCP is an application that works with Java, developed by Cisco, to enable you manage security devices, especially when it has to do with uh, VPN configuration, it has to do with firewall setup, uh, intrusion prevention system, AAA, and a whole lot of things. Oftentimes, people have had issues with setting up CCP and then uh, having this uh, have been able to connect to the router using Cisco configuration professional the reason for this though uh, I think Cisco actually knows that but I don't know what they are doing because uh, as you can see on my desktop here I have Windows by Microtik which is just a very easy way to configure the Microtik router using a graphical user interface but on this note now uh, Microsoft is still not making things easier for Cisco with the uh, introduction of Edge, which does not use Java. So a lot of persons have been having issues. Basically, if you want CCP to work for you, these are the simple things you just need to do. Number one, you should just, if, you, if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 8, you should have um, a virtual machine installed on your computer, like I just did. And then, uh, secondly, you should have Java, Java version 6, uh, update 32, that's what I have here, as you can see here. I have Java version 6, update 32. Don't install the latest Java. Get this version of Java installed, okay? And then you need to, of course, install Adobe Flash on it. You need to install Adobe Flash, and after that, then you can install the Cisco Configuration Professional. The one I have here is version 2.1, 2.1. So if you have those things installed on your system and you're ready to fire up, the next thing you need to do is to go to your router. Okay, I'm here in my router and I need to uh, set up some few things that will be required for CCP to work. One of them, is that I need to enable IP HTTP server, okay? I need to enable that service. I'm going to use secure server instead. So you have to do this first. Set up the uh, enable HTTPS on the router. Then secondly, you need to set up authentication for the HTTP login. So you say IP HTTP authentication then you need to say local to use the local database then of course you need to set up the local database so you say uh, username So what we have done here, we've enabled HTTPS on the router. We have enabled authentication on if you're trying to access the router via HTTP, you should be required to enter the uh, local uh, password, username and password, which we created here as the gate, and of course the password is Cisco. And mind you, the router must have been configured with an IP address. Okay? So the next thing you need to do is go to your system and locate the Cisco Configuration Professional. Okay, right click on it and run as administrator. Okay. It's going to take a while for the CCP to load up. It loads. You are going to have this. The community is here where you have the various routers that you will be managing. Okay. So I'm just going to hit, um, use this one since it's the same router I just set up now. But I will change the username here. Cisco123. And of course, we are going to say use the secured uh, protocol, which is HTTPS or SSH. Okay. And we click on OK. If everything goes well, it should show up as discovered. Okay. Okay. Uh, the 
simple question about this. Well, we, are, we trust the router, we set it up, so you just say yes. Right now, the router has been discovered. So once it shows up here as discovered, then we can go ahead and make sure that the router is selected there. You can see here, it's the same IP address. This one we just added here, it's the same one here. So you just go ahead and you click on configure. So when you click on configure, you will see all the models that are active on the router. You can see the voice model here is not active. Here you have the interfaces on the router, and here on the router you can configure a lot of things. The time, uh, router access, DCP, and a whole lot of management things that you can configure here. When you come to security, that's where the flavor is. You can do a whole lot of things here, like access list editor, the VPN, VPN confidence, AAA, and advanced security, where you get to work yourself through things like well filtering, intrusion prevention, and a whole lot of things. So that's how simple and quick it is to set up a, a CCP. Okay, remember the things you need to do are quite uh, simple. Just make sure you are doing the right thing. Number one, you need to make sure you are not using Microsoft Edge. Okay, and if your window, the window version of your system is Windows 10, make sure you have a virtual machine running with Windows 7 installed on it. Then you should have Microsoft Internet Explorer instead of the Edge that comes with Windows 10. And then you need to install Java version 6 of the 32. If your machine is a 32 bit machine, if not, you need to put a 64 bit version of Java there. And then you need to, of course, make sure you have Adobe Flash installed. Okay, have Adobe Flash installed. Then go to the router and uh, enable HTTPS, enable HTTPS authentication, and then create a local username and password. Okay. The HTTPS authentication should be asked to should be made to use a local database. After that, you go to your uh, desktop wherever you have the Cisco configuration professional. Right click on it and say run as an administrator. Enter the username and password you set on the router. Put the IP address of the router and click on discover. Okay, that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that we we together can make this channel great and then also visit my blog at www.timigate.com thanks for watching and stay safe